welcome dear students in this video i am going to explain about kinetic theory of matter this theory is based on some assumptions so let us see first the assumptions of kinetic theory of matter the first assumption is matter is made up of small particles called molecules means suppose it is a matter as we know anything which has mass and occupies a space is called matter so let this is a matter a and this matter is made up of small particles so these small particles are called the molecules so first assumption is this only all the substances all the matters are made up of small particles called molecules the second one is the molecules are always in random motion these molecules always moves that means they can move as i use the word random motion random motion another name of this is brownian motion or zigzag motion the particles of the molecules are always in random motion in case of solid the molecules are not moving freely they are vibrating on their own position in case of liquid the molecules can move freely but they cannot escape the liquid and in case of gas the molecules can move in any direction with any possible velocity so second assumption as i said the molecules are always in random motion third assumption is that molecules of a given substances are all alike and differ from the molecules of other substances as we have seen this matter a consists of some molecules so these molecules are all alike all are of same kind but if we will talk about another substance let another matter that is b and it is also made up of small particles called molecules these all molecules that means molecule of matter b are also alike but these molecules are different from the molecules of matter a so i said these molecules that means molecules are different from the molecules of other substances next one is the kinetic energy of the molecules depends on upon the temperature it increases with rising temperature so these molecules possess kinetic energy in case of gas the particle the molecules possess maximum energy in liquid less than gas and in solid the kinetic energy of the molecules are very less in case of solid the particles are vibrating on their own position in case of liquid they can move and in gas they can move in any direction so in gas the particles possess maximum kinetic energy the next assumption is that the molecules attract one another with a force which decreases as the distance between them increases these molecules of a matter are attached with each other with the intermolecular force and that force decreases as the distance between them increase increases as like two molecules are kept certain distance apart force will act 
and if it is kept more distance apart if distance will be more force will be less intermolecular force of attraction will be less so i said the molecules attract one another with a force that is intermolecular force which decreases as the distance between them increases these intermolecular forces are of two kinds the first one is known as force of cohesion force of cohesion and second one is known as force of adhesion so let us see first what is force of cohesion force of cohesion is a force of attraction acting between the molecules of same kind means the force of attraction between water and water molecule same kind of molecule one water molecule is attracted by the another water molecule so same type of molecules the force of attraction between the same kind of molecule is known as the force of cohesion more examples the force of attraction between the molecules of mercury same type of molecules next one is force of adhesion it is also a force of attraction acting between the molecules of different kind means force of attraction between water molecule and glass molecule or force of attraction between any two different types of molecules that is the adhesion force as we know that when we pour some water in a glass and if we drink that water after then we find some water particle get sticks to the glass surface this is because of force of attraction between the water molecule and the molecule of glass so that force is also the force of adhesion so i said about five assumptions of kinetic theory of matter the first one is matter is made up of small particles called molecules second the molecules are always in random motion third molecules of given substances are all alike and uh, differ from the molecules of other substances fourth the kinetic energy of the molecules depends on the temperature it increases with increase in temperature and fifth one the molecules attract one another with a force which decreases as the distance between them increases and i also define two types of forces force of cohesion acting between the same type of molecules and adhesion acting between the different types of molecules but both are in attractive nature now let us see the physical differences between solids liquids and gases on the basis of kinetic theory of matter as i said in the assumptions that the particles or molecules are always in random motion so in case of solid the kinetic energy of molecules are very less in liquid the kinetic energy of molecules are more than the kinetic energy of the molecules of solid and in gases the kinetic energy of molecules are more than the 
kinetic energy of molecules of liquid now as we know the matter can exist in three states that is solid liquid and gases so solids has a definite shape and volume as the particles or molecules of the solids are closely packed the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules of solids are very high the particles does not have so much kinetic energy so that it can move from their place they can only vibrate on their own position that's why a solid has a definite volume and definite shape in case of liquid the kinetic energy of the molecules are more as i said so these molecules can move in the liquid itself but they cannot escape the surface of liquid so the liquid and the intermolecular force between the molecules are less than that of solid that's why a liquid does not has a a liquid has a, a liquid does not has a definite volume but sorry it does not has a definite shape but it has a definite volume in case of gas the particles possess very high kinetic energy and the intermolecular force of attraction is very less so the particles can move in any direction with all possible velocities that's why a gas has no definite volume no definite shape so these are the differences between solids liquids and gases on the basis of kinetic theory of matter one more point we can see in this that is change of state change of state as i said there are three states of solid there are three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas when the temperature changes the substances change its states like ice on heating it converted to water that is solid change to liquid when heat is supplied and if it is cooled then it uh, converted to water again so there is a change of state of matter so there are certain process processes uh, which uh, through which the substances change from one state to another in that the first i am going to talk about one more process that is one process that is a uh, boiling so boiling is a process in which a substance change its liquid state to the gaseous state at a fixed temperature so liquid change to gaseous state at fixed temperature that fixed temperature is called the boiling point and this process is called the boiling if i will talk about like uh, water uh, boils at 100 degrees celsius and it converted from liquid to gaseous state next process that is melting melting is a process in which a substance change from the solid state to liquid state and this melting also takes place at a fixed temperature and that fixed temperature is called the melting point for example ice melts and it's uh, converted into water that means solid to liquid and ice melts at 0 degree celsius 
so 0 degree celsius is melting point of ice and process of converting from solid to liquid is known as melting next process that is uh, evaporation it is a specific type of by uh, vaporization which occurs at a temperature below the boiling point like uh, when we keep our wet clothes in uh, air or sunlight it becomes dry why because the water vapor because the water which was uh, present in the cloth they evaporated and uh, that uh, th there is no any boiling so evaporation is also a process in which uh, liquid changes to gaseous state but without boiling that means below the boiling point condensation it is a process in which a gaseous state changes into the liquid state like for example if we keep cool water in a glass so outside the glass if you will observe if the glass is dry and we keep the cool water inside the glass we will find some water droplets at the outer surface of the glass this is because the water vapor present in the atmosphere they condensed means converted from vapor state to the liquid state and collected on the surface of the glass so this is condensation next process is uh, sublimation it is a process in which a solid directly changes to the gaseous state without going to the liquid state for example if we will talk about dry ice another example camphor in hindi we call it as a kapoor kapoor that uh, camphor it also converted directly from solid to the gaseous state one more process i will talk about that that is a uh, deposition deposition is also a process in which a gaseous state directly changes to the solid state like in very cold weather if you will observe on the leaves that means plants leaves we will found we will find some ice crystals that is called the frost frost is an example of deposition that means uh, the vapor that means uh, uh, water when converted into gas that gaseous vapor get converted into ice directly that is deposition so these are all uh, processes so i explain about uh, various processes like boiling evaporation melting sublimation etc so this is all about kinetic theory of matter its assumptions and uh, all related terms thank you students thank you for watching